And now to craft the perfect run through Fallout New California. First things first, tackle Johnny Matheson. Make the play, kid. Come on. Come on. Although the path of the scientist has its own benefits, I personally believe Path of the Warrior opens many more opportunities. I can tell you have a high endurance already, and you have the strength you need to survive in this world. Having impressed Coach Bragg, it's time for me to distribute my stats. I believe the perfect character build is well-rounded, having a six in all special attributes. We will allow perception and charisma to be lowered just a little bit, because we will be unlocking perception and charisma perks as we progress. The Path of the Warrior automatically gets additional damage to all weaponry. For the two traits we are allowed to choose, Early Bird is very essential. The additional plus two to each special attribute is incredibly overpowered in this mod where special checks come up frequently. We will be playing the majority of the game during that 6 a.m. to noon time frame, in which we are granted kind of ungodly stats. The second trait really doesn't matter by comparison. Go with what your heart desires. And I will be investing my points into lockpick, because there is one specific door I want access to that will require a minimum of 25 lockpicking skill. While intense training is always a good choice, given how powerful the special attributes are, I will be selecting Swift Learner, due to the very low amount of available experience points that one can acquire. You're in the top of your class. Congratulations. This grants us access to the Born Soldier perk. And before leaving, I'll ask if you have any books available to me. Guns and Ammo, Pugilism Illustrated, and a few Grognak comics I lifted off that dumb punk Johnny. All very useful things to have for later. And now, because it is 6 a.m., we are technically trespassing in the coach's office, and we have to leave. We'll talk to Jen on our way out, pick up her quest. Don't keep me waiting, Tiger. And then I leave her waiting for a bit. First things first, let's go talk to Chevy and security. So you're the replacement. I will impress Chevy with my professionalism and not try to make her feel inferior by passing too many of these special checks. You meet my expectations. I'll issue you your armor and sidearm. And that grants us access to the Born Soldier 2 perk. And now to make friends with all the possible companions. Hey, Kurt's nice books. Let's go back to your room and talk about how much we like comic books. And that gives us the Wayseer perk. And now to charm Johnny Matheson. I'm just sick of being treated like a basement dweller. And now we are on Johnny's good side. While we're here, though, we can talk to the doc. Hey, kid. What in the hell are you doing in my computer lab? Using the Born Soldier 2 perk, we can inquire about becoming a Wasteland Scout. That grants us access to the Scoutmaster perk. Down here in the operations room, we have Joe Marshall, but what I'm here for are the six bobby pins under his desk. Using our lockpicking skill and bobby pins, we have found a small memorial to a lost member of the team, Dr. Kyoto. And more importantly, we can loot her special goggles. So not only do we have the additional plus one perception, but now we have an additional plus three science skill as well. And now to the upper apartment to visit Eric and tell him we approve of everything he does in life. Thank you. You're a really good friend. And now to impress Kira with our above average intellect. Smart jock, huh? Okay. And there's the smart jock perk. And now to do Jen Hale's quest, to break into the coach's office and steal the information she's curious about. After we talk to her dad. Hey kid, here to see my daughter, are you? Yes sir, may I come in? Jen said you'd be stopping in to help her with a little problem. Just make sure it's not going to get the two of you into trouble. What? 
Was that an invitation to bang your daughter, sir? <laughs> Just kidding. But not really. We need more babies in Vault 18, so go have fun. No, seriously. Daddy! <laughs> Every time I come through here, I find new things. What? <laughs> hey, yeah, don't let Dad freak you out. We don't have to make babies if you don't yes, want to. Yes, you do. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <laughs> Ugh, come on, follow me. <laughs> it's our duty to keep the human race going, sweetheart, and you're- Dad, seriously? Serious. Privacy mode? Engage. <sighs> Ears turned off. Ugh. Just make sure to clean up. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I know it's your big night and all. Hey, we'll be right back, okay? I just need to go say thank you. No problem, honey. Just get in deep and aim for twins. <laughs> this is getting old, Pop. <sighs> so am I. And I just want to have grandkids before I get wrinkles. I'll have be fun, right you back. Two. I love this mod. So this door that's locked behind a very hard lock of a hundred that I definitely don't have the skills to open. Thank you. And then we use the stealth boy to creep through the gymnasium to Coach Bragg's office. All right, we're in. Get those two books and the information she wanted. And now to sneak back out just as stealthily as we snuck in. Okay, that mission was a complete success! And now to ransack the laundromat. The Vault Lab uniform! Grant an additional plus five in science. Combined with Dr. Kyoto's goggles, that'll be very handy if I need to pass any science checks. And now to pay a visit to the Overseer. So, sounds like you've had an eventful evening. And the Vault Politician perk has been added. And now to wrap up the day, but first, we'll make a little side visit to the Robotics Lab. Updating files. Please return later. And you will be fully functional tomorrow, I'm sure. As for the other robotic companion, yes, the biggest drawback of going down the path of the warrior is that Alpha, the giant killbot, will forever remain inaccessible to me. Very sad, but that is the trade-off. And before going to bed, why don't we level up and invest all of our skill points into medicine? And then, despite being on the Enclave's good side, I explode. And uh, I'm not going to talk to Ernest just yet. In my experience, the companions are very eager to get themselves killed. So we'll come back for him later. We will be ambushed by an Enclave soldier. Hey, you, over there. Are you one of us or are you one of them? I'm one of yours. Why did you explode me? We should report back to the Colonel and sort this out. Yes, let's. One last time. Where the hell is the key you. to unlock that You're door? Sick you were gonna kill her anyway, I wanted the experience. There's my star player. I knew you'd survive that shit storm downstairs. Come on over here and take this machine gun from Anderson. You got it, sir. Here are your fatigues and your submachine gun. 60 rounds is all you get issued, so don't waste it. Where is the rest of your tribe? My family exploded, John. They're dead now. Good God. This has gone too far. We didn't sign up to kill good people. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to talk about this later. Hell, there might not be a later. Let's go. Sir, permission to break ranks. What in the hell for, Anderson? Sir, Vault Security has a contingency in the pipeworks that may lead to the upper apartments. I found a spare key. We'd like to investigate the alternate route, sir. Ah, oh, now that's my soldier. Take the lead and find a way back behind their lines, and report back to me. Sir, yes sir. Come on, follow me. I'll be right behind you, John. Ooh, there we go, into the pipeworks. God, I can't believe I almost fell in with those bastards. Thanks for giving me this chance to switch sides. Bragg doesn't care about anybody. 
We have to put a stop to this. We'll link up with the Wasteland Scouts and help them hold their lines. Change out of your uniform and back into your regular clothes. Otherwise, Vault Security will just shoot at us on sight. Okay, hey, there's my good friend Eric. How the hell did you get in here? We thought you guys downstairs were dead. We snuck through the atrium. Place is a mess. Right, F forget it. It's good to see we really needed to come across a friendly face for a change. Yeah, they're gonna be coming in in about 43 seconds exactly, so let's get our gear ready. God. Oh god, they came in early! I was not ready for that! Oh, they keep on finding new ways to surprise me in the worst ways! Sergeant Dale Norman has given us the key to the hydroponics lab, and that's where we're going to head next. There's one thing I absolutely do not want to forget, and that's picking up the James Silver Rob Mebo. Hey, here we are in hydroponics. Excellent. The Enclave are about to attack soon, so let's set up some defenses. I'll take up a defensive position behind the bread. It's military-grade hardtack. They'll never be able to get through it. Here they are. I'll load into them. Get him, 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 get him. Oh well, that's that then. Right. Can you not advance? You understand ah. how a firefight works. Come on. All right. And now to talk to the Overseer and calm him down. The Overseer has set off the self-destruct and the vault is now exploding. Jamie, the vault is exploding! We need to go! Okay, we got you. And we got you. Okay, that's three! And then we go in here and get our friend Johnny. Oh, ugh, ugh. Come on, we gotta fight back! Oh shit, you're right! Yeah, Jen, stop crying! Oh, what's going on? Repeat. React Cram inside the elevator! Appreciated. Everyone, get Please in here! Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we might be over the weight limit. I think we should run. I can hear the reactor starting to blow. Let's go! Run, run! Hey, you don't have to tell me twice! Come on, everybody! You guys, uh, making it all right? There's a lot of fire. One, two, three. That was fucking close. Who's missing? Oh, Ernest. Really? You died? Wait a second. No! Oh, John. Oh, well. Can't say I didn't try. What are you doing here? Come on, let's go, Marty Stu. You're right. We should go before the vault begins to collapse. Come on, robot dog. I am B6RK. Let's go. All right. Yes, we got quite a lot of people. K kid, uh, is that you? Give me experience points. Uh, well, that escalated quickly. He was going to die anyway. It was worth it. Ah, uh, there's actually a bullet fragment in his body. Uh, fun little Easter egg. <laughs> A lot of dying. Ugh. We're just not gonna get involved. There's not much we can do. And we have escaped Vault 18. And then we'll deal with the Raider Nos here. You better run. Get down. Level four. Invest more points into medicine. And for a perk, you just can't go wrong with educated. And now to make our way towards the safe house. And Kira. Holy shit. I never thought I was going to see you again. You should join us. And also, stop being a cold, unloving bitch. Come on. Let's get to this house and see what we can find. And now we're nerdorable. Come on, everybody. In the safe house. That's right. And here comes Johnny. On the verge of overdosing on Jet. Oh, oh, I think. I think the freight train has finally run out of. Jesus Christ, Johnny, keep it together. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Why did I follow all you up here again? Hey, I think he's finally down for the count. We'd better do something. There's nothing we can do for him right now. Just let him rest. So, this is all of us. 
We're all that's left. There were so many of us running through the caverns. Someone else must have made it. I didn't see anyone else after we took out the turrets. I think the Enclave got them. Well, those freaks outside. Who the hell were they? Looks like they were kicking the Enclave's ass. They were Elsdragon's elite psychos. The raiders that enslaved my tribe. They're the ones I'm gonna kill. Then you're in luck. It looks like the vault's reactors blew them all to hell along with the rest. No. That was only a small raiding party. There are thousands of them out there. And we need to take them out. This is the house Dr. Rossman told us about. I remember him bringing me here when I first woke up from my delirium. Yeah, we should probably get medicine for Johnny before he dies. Then you don't need me to tell you I saw him jab himself in the heart with a fistful of adrenaline on the way up here. Walking up that hill got his blood pumping, so he's probably in shock. You'll have to find a blood pack to dilute the stimulants, or he won't wake up. Looks like we're in charge of this army now, Ben. You would do well not to think of them as soldiers. Each of them have reasons they should never be handed a gun. When the fuck did you turn into goddamn She-Hulk? Are you on Psycho? <laughs> Jesus, one drugged out maniac is enough. If you don't want to fight, then that's your deal. I have a mission, and I'm going to see it through. I think that your plan is suicide. We barely made it out of the vault alive. We can't face an army. You're just cowards. I've studied the vault archives for years. I know everything about them. Your crazy half-cocked delusions are going to get you shot. Look, how the hell did you get out of the vault so fast anyway? There's another way out. Through the reactor's emergency vent. I closed it off and made my way outside. What? The only way to initiate the self-destruct is to close off the shaft. You allowed the Overseer to do what he did. Oh, yeah. Blame me for saving my own ass. You were doing such a great job with Bragg and his munchkin army. I thought you could handle it. Kira, I knew you were a bitch, but I had no idea you were okay with murdering your own people. I'm really glad I saved you all. My people? Ha! Huh. You all left me to fend for myself against those sick fucks that had me locked in a cell half my life. You're not my people. Then why don't you leave? If even half of what you said about them is true, why don't you just walk away, Kira? Oh, you'd like that bullshit, wouldn't you? No more, Kira. No one else to mock you for all the jocks your dad let you fuck. Kira, that's enough. Surprised you were able to learn to talk at all with his cock down your throat. I said enough! God damn it, Kira. Either shut the hell up or walk. I'm done with you. <laughs> Fine. I'm done too. Have fun out there in the big old wasteland. I'll see you all on the other end of my rifle. Hey, she's too dangerous to let go. We can't just let her walk out of here. She's too full of shit to be dangerous. When she gets captured, it's not like she can tell them where the vault is. But she can tell them where we are. Just knowing we survived is enough to send them looking for us. Yeah. You're right. I'll do it. Wait, what are you doing? Now, apparently we're killing Kira. I have the rifle. It's my shot. You can't do this. I know she's a bitch, but she's still one of us. Fine. Go. And don't miss. No! Don't draw attention to yourself. She's not gonna... Oh. Uh, no! Dead. And Kira has started shooting and killing everyone. We won! We won! Yeah! Woo! Woo indeed! Chen, why the hell did you do that? Why is it so impossible to keep all you idiots alive and happy? Huh. That went well. I guess letting them fight to the death here was better than what awaited them on the road ahead. At least, now we'll have fewer mouths to feed. Can you not be an asshole, Ben? Don't tell me what to do. Die. God, you fucking Marty Stew. If you don't want to fight, then that's your deal. I have a mission, and I'm going to see it through. Everybody shut Are the fuck you up! Serious? Shut up! If you would all stop being such insufferable douche canoes, we could do great things. We all have rules to live by, goals we work to pursue. My new goal is keeping all of you safe from your stupid, stupid selves. 
We are all in this together, and we aren't likely to make new friends. Mainly because we have very detestable personality traits that most sane people would stay the hell away from. Okay, cool. Great. Nice. That was a good speech. Better than what I could do. I feel a little better knowing one of us can actually lead. Thanks. Apparently you put all your points into survival? That's a dump stat, man. Speech is overpowered. Okay. Bark and I are gonna get Johnny's medicine. The five of you stay here and try not to kill each other. And here's Pinehaven Hospital. And here is the medical safe. Easy locked. Blood packs. That's what I needed. Almost forgot about this book of medicine. Gonna want that. And we're back. Hey, Johnny. And we give him some medication. Ugh, oh, fucking hell, man. What the hell happened? My head feels like a ball of thunder. Hey, Johnny, just so you know, Ben thought I should let you die. There's a gun behind you. It's loaded. Good night. And then we are the rudely place. awakened in the middle of the night Damn. by these Nine. bandits. Eight. We are actually going to allow ourselves to be captured by the raiders so that we will gain entrance to their stronghold. Bag him. You know what I think? You are going to have a very bright future in our little company. I'm going to give you your very own raider name. Your new name is Jack. What? Don't you like it? It's fitting, no? Jack the Killer. Maybe that's what they'll call you if you don't die in the abyss. And now I go down here. See you later. Whee! Oh, and level five. We'll just go ahead and get science and repair up a bit more, yes? Hey, all you slaves, follow me. I'm gonna give you a big speech and rally you to fight the monsters. Slaves, listen to me. It's time for us to rise up. Yes, yes, death to the cave giant. So this is why we allowed ourselves to be captured. We've got a slave army, and we're gonna meet Mandrake, and we're getting a lot of experience for killing ghouls. You can see me. Surprising. Mandrake, help me kill the behemoth! Try not to die, everybody! Not all at once. That kind of defeats the purpose of recruiting you guys. Okay, kill the behemoth at your request. Alright. Not bad, motherfucker. Being captured by bandits does have its disadvantages, though. All of my companions are now enslaved. Great. Captured by raiders. Not exactly how I saw myself spending my time in the wasteland. Don't worry, I think I know how to fix this. Okay, just hurry back. I don't like this place. As per usual, Els Dragon has crucified Kira. I'll have to come back for her later. Wilson Wilco, I know things about you. I don't know why you're looking at me, kid. I ain't got nothing to say. You're an NCR spy, Wilson. Shit. Keep your voice down, kid. Get over here and we'll talk. You're going to help me break my friends out of captivity. Sell your friends to Duffney. He'll take them to Black Horse. Get the collar turned off, hop on the vertebrate, then haul ass to Union City. Go. Thank you for your compliance, Wilson. It is appreciated. All right, scumbag, buy my companions. You, slave. Why are you on my platform? Get down. By my companions. I have no need of men. They're better off here in the mines. Hmm, I need more barter, I see. Luckily, the store here will sell me barter magazines and books. What do you need? Barter magazines and books. Salesman's Weekly, Tales of a Junktown Drake Vendor. Yes, those are all very useful things to have. By my companions, all of them. Well, I suppose I could hold on to them long enough to resell in the Arizona markets. Hey, everybody. I got good news. Hey, you have a plan we can use here, amigo? I have sold you all to a slaver. Trust me on this. Once you're out of the mine, I will come to your rescue. Ah, whatever. You just make sure this works. Hey, so I heard something about getting sold into slavery? What's up with that? Yeah, that's how I'm getting you out of here. 
Oh, that sounds like an awful plan. Can we talk about this? Don't impugn my decision making. I'm selling you to a slaver, then I'm gonna rescue you. Okay, I'll just wait until you come rescue us then. Yeah, all you gotta do is sit by and do nothing. Don't screw it up. Okay, we'll disarm Jen's collar and Ben's collar and Jamie and Eric and Johnny so that when I rescue them, they won't explode. And uh, I'll have to come back later for my robot dog who requires 80 science to fix up, which is kind of steep. And now that I have laid the groundwork to rescue my friends, it's time for me to join up with Nos and help the raiders at the bridge overpass. Oh, and the battle has begun. And there goes Nos. Ranger Vargas! Ranger Vargas! You there! Hold your position! What are you doing here? I just escaped from the raiders! I need your help! What? How did you escape? They've been putting collars around the necks of their prisoners and blowing them up in our faces. I disarmed the collars and got loose! Then get up here! If you want to help, then you've got to fight these guys with me! You're not gonna blow up when you're standing next to me, are you? No guarantees, but probably not. And then Ranger Vargas and I joined up with Captain Jameson, and we defeated the raiders that are attacking the bridge. Special delivery! Aha. Oh, I was kinda hoping that would take out the majority of you. And now that Nos is dead, we'll go to the NCR HQ, get briefed by General Silverman, and then I'll stage a rescue attempt for my team. Just gonna ignore this guy, huh? These guys are assholes. Level 6, dump it into repair, we need that up. And comprehension, a very important perk to take. And now that we've unlocked their full potential, it's time to read every skill book in our inventory. General Silverman, I'm here to assist the NCR's war effort. Ah, there you are. Before I do the tasks you've assigned to me, I'm going to go rescue my companions. But before we leave, we need to talk with the senator here. Using the Vault Politician perk enables us to dig deeper. Oh, so I see. You're a little Vault Politician. And there's the perk, the Bishop. More barter and more gun skill. Always welcome. We are now here in Black Horse Ranch. Gonna have to kill a bunch of raiders to rescue my... You! Oh! Gather. Uh. Was that the last one? Slave cages. Ah, uh, there's Ben and there's Eric. I found you guys! You... you made it. You know I wouldn't leave you behind, Ben. You're my favorite. They left us in these cages since we got here, exposed to the sun. I'm fairly certain they were trying to kill us. The girls are inside. Free me, and I'll assist you. That's frickin' stupid. Why would they buy you and then let you die of exposure? And now I've been sold to slavers. Yeah, good job. And this plan is turning out better and better. Come on, Eric, don't be like that. I actually like you. Hey, Johnny. Uh, uh, hey, buddy. All right, we got Johnny. Hey, uh, mm. Hey, is it time to get out of here or not? Yes, let's go. Yeah, right behind you. And, uh, hey, there you are. Oh my god, you came for us. I'll always come for you, baby. That'd be funny if we weren't almost killed. Oh, we got the escape artist perk. Our clever escape from the Raiders has given us an additional 10 points in sneak. And we leveled up, level seven. Let's keep on getting repair. Repair and science, gotta go up still. Okay team, I have volunteered us to work for the NCR. We gotta get them power and electricity. So let's go do that thing. Eh, there's some commotion outside the relay station we're heading to. Ah, we'll clear these guys out. Befriend the She-Warrior, which will enable us to enact a peace treaty between the two groups. Boy, that is a bloody staircase. 
Level 8! More science! And then we flip the switch and restore power to the city. And then we'll talk to Kiva of the She, and we'll do her side quest, wherein we hand Ranger Vargas over to the raiders to earn her trust. Do you really trust that She Warlord? Whoa, you can really hear that far? My hearing is augmented with specialized training. Ranger Ears Perk, plus one perception. Okay, Vargas, I'll see you later. And now we have the Revanchist Perk. Plus one perception and ten more speech. Our next mission is to restore clean drinking water to the city. This'll be easy enough. First things first, there's a crackpot inventor. We're gonna go talk to them. Make a good first impression. Halt, Wastelander! Keep your hands where I can see them. I just stopped by to let you know that I think you're super smart. All right, Lackey, you can come in. Yes, yes, what is it? I need someone to repair a damaged water purifier in a vault. Wait here, I have a tool specifically for this task. Not bad, is it? My own invention, of course. Wizard of Steel, they used to call me. Shall we embark? Very well, come with me. And here's the generator I need you to repair, Doc. Heading back so soon, eh? Alright, that's it. Water is flowing normally. Union City should get the pressure stream in a few minutes. Now I'll return to my lab. Eulalia! Very well, I hope I can count on your assistance in the future. And we report back to Silverman. Well, looks like everything's in order. The General has tasked us to investigate Fort Dagger Point. But first we need to acquire the key from a local mercenary. That was her killing a local man. Oh, he's getting away, he's getting away, oh no! Yeah, you got him. So you're a bounty hunter. Would you like to join me at Fort Dagger Point? I tend to work alone, thanks. What if I was exceptionally charismatic, eh? Okay. But there are other mercenaries that are willing to join us for a price. Here's $200, join me. Well, you're going to Shanghai us into this. Might as well toss an old dog his bone. We'll take that deal. Captain Jameson, I've got good news. I brought a small army, and the mercenary Anio Ran is willing to come with us. Like hell. I have half a mind to have her arrested and haul her ass into jail. No way. Too late. I already hired her. All right, fine. But you better keep an eye on her. Let's look alive. We got a long walk ahead of us. Sir, yes, sir. This is like the end of a high school baseball game. Everybody high five. Good game. Good game. Good game. Don't spit in your hand. Hey, what do you need? What do you know about Fort Dagger Point? I know that it's had its fair share of adventures. Its front yard has changed hands a few times, but no one that's gone in has come back out. We'll have to be the first. This is a covert operation. Yes. <laughs> you can never defeat America. Uh, excuse me, what was that? What was that you said? Welcome to Fort Dagger Point. Commencing attack. It's in ruins and infested with security bots. And then Jameson will send us up alone. Agent, I'm gonna need a hand moving all this debris out of the tunnel. Your team can stay here and help us out. You know what's out there, don't you, Jameson? <sighs> my orders come from up top, kid. I don't have to explain myself to you. Eh, hey, you're only sending me in because you know I'm the best. Nah, you're not self-centered at all. Go on and follow orders, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm staying with him. Jerry, stay here and dig in the dirt with the kids. Oh, damn! Anais, come with me! That's awesome! Back again, eh, cowboy? You still call me a cowboy if I'm a girl? Hold on. Back again, Lady Danger? Lady Danger! Oh, interesting! Alright. Okay, I, I was just curious. Let's advance. We should get out of here. Back the way we came. Or we take a leap over the edge into the drink. If those we left behind are smart, they'll book it out of here. We haven't even met the super... You know what's coming up ahead, don't you? So, my enemy is gonna throw that and let's go, Anai! Anai, Oran, and Jerry are on a mission known only to themselves and are leaving your party. Head back the way you came and escape this place. Aw, that's sad. 
Engaging. Look out, there's monsters blocking the exit. Shoot your way through them. We need to leave now. On the way out, we have to visit the cafeteria in the south wing because there's another Rob Mebo, Raging Joey. Everybody out. Go, go, go. We'll stay here for a while killing these mutants. They'll grant us an infinite amount of experience points. Hey, level nine. Well, again, we gotta get science and repair up a bit. And level 10, okay. That was pretty good, I feel pretty good about that. What about you, Jameson? God damn. Okay, let's head back to base now. But first, there's a secret companion. The Pine Haven Barracks, that's what I want. Whoa, what? over here. Nope, nope, gotta take these guys out, that's quick. And we are here for this Rob Mebo, Bingo Raven. The Raider Trailer Park has a location, the Wasted Space Bar and Grill. There's what I'm looking for. The Limited Edition John Bane Rob Mebo. And now we'll bring these Rob Mebos to the town of Angel Breakers. There's a robot in here that just doesn't react to my hacking prowess. However, it does respond to the input of Rob Mebos. There we go. That's what I like to see. Come on, robot, let's go. Hmm, the strong, silent type. I suppose your movements confer all your poshness. He's a bit slower compared to the rest of y'all, but you know, we love him just the same. And now we'll report back to General Silverman. The General wants us to take out the Raider leader, Els Dragon. This task is easier now that we've made inroads with Kiva of the Shi. We'll be able to infiltrate their mine and depose Els Dragon without the need for bloodshed. Hello again, Kiva. Good to see you too. And Wilson, my old friend. Holy shit, kid. I never thought I was going to see your ass again, especially not back here. I put my balls on the line trying to save you from that madman. You can't go back in there. I can with your help. Damn. All right. You just try to stay out of trouble this time. Ooh, the bearded wonder perk. Additional perception, not that there's room for any more, and plus five survival. Okay, we are back in Athens tech. First things first, we need to do some shopping. Grognak the Barbarian. Medical backpack that increases my medicine skill by 15. I'm going to want that. Uh, today's physician, yep, I want that too. And we'll just stop by the med bay to pick up the medicine book. Now we'll head to this tent and revive our robo dog. <coughs> Welcome back to the team, Bark. And now we'll talk to Kiva, who will tell us to befriend the local raider leaders and we can build an alliance against Els Dragon. This weirdo over here will be impressed by my endurance. Hmm, as you wish. The Viking leader here respects my intelligence. I will confer with my tribe, and we will begin to prepare. And the Viper Priestess will respect my endurance as well. Unfortunately, to get her on our side would require us to drink her venom, which will give us a permanent intelligence penalty. So we're just not going to talk to her. We'll be able to do this without her assistance. And then we'll come over here and free Ranger Vargas. You made it! Oh, man. And now we challenge Els Dragon. Ah, look at this. The fucking prodigal raider returns. It's so good to see you again, Jack. I'm here to unite the raider tribes against you. Let's see if this pendejo has the balls to back up his claims to power. Oh, and then Els Dragon and I had a fair fight in the middle of the town square. It's definitely a fair fight. Absolutely. I'm doing this all on my own. I'm the best. Thank you, Biscuit. And then I'm supposed to give a speech to all of the raiders, but I haven't been investing my points into speech. So they are unhappy. But it doesn't matter because with sufficient luck, Kiva can do it in my stead. Yep, gave your speech. Yeah, very motivating. Yeah, Tatakairu, everyone loves Tatakairu. 
What's she saying? I don't speak Chinese. I think that's Japanese. That's fucking stupid. The sheer is supposed to be Chinese. This mod doesn't know it's lore at all. And with Ell's dragon dead, we can finally free Kira from her bonds without angering every single raider. Yay! Welcome back to the team, Kira. Now, Kiva wants us to defend a bunch of raider settlements. And I don't really need to do that. However, it will provide ample experience, so I'm gonna do it. Put a few bullets in each of them so I get experience when they die. And then, ironically, we'll defend Black Horse Ranch, despite the fact that I killed a lot of its residents earlier, rescuing my companions. Hey, level 12! We're gonna be dumping all these points into medicine for a bit. We'll take the perk here and now to level up immediately, and continue dumping points into medicine. And there we go, revenge just completed. And now that we've killed all the mutants, it's time to kill these raiders, because I need a little bit more experience. Oh, the world is full of bitter irony. And we'll get medicine up to 85, which maxes out with our medical backpack. And, I don't know, maybe speech? And sure, we'll, we'll put a point in intense training. We'll just dump that in charisma. And now to solve the mystery of the smooth skin murders, here in the town of Odyssey. And here's a suit made out of human skin! Oh yeah! I wonder what's behind this door! So, you found it, huh? Doc Isaac, why are you making a suit out of human flesh? Do you know what it's like living as a ghoul? Everyone looks at you like you're some sort of monster. A freak! Revenge is not the answer! Are you saying they didn't deserve this? Take a deep breath and let Dr. Mike take care of you. Take care of me? How do you expect to take care of a monster like me? I detect a compromised orbital cortex and mismanaged serotonin levels, but this prescription should help bring it under control. <sighs> Just take the medicine. Thank you. I feel good about what we've done today. And now we'll report back to General Silverman, after getting rid of this roadblock quickly. What the hell? Well, good shooting, Agent. That's the end of this fiasco. Our final mission is to return to Fort Dagger Point to finally defeat the mutants and the Enclave. Let's round up the troops. Oh, and I ran. I heard there's a mission on to destroy Fort Dagger Point. I have some important information for you. Are you going to explain why you bailed out on me on that bridge? I had to use the opportunity to get the information I needed. Was the side trip you took worth it? You'll notice the NCR stirring up to action finally. A big part of that was my doing. We're going to bring the Enclave down. Alright, see you there. I'm only here until the job is done. I'm just here so I don't get fined. And my old mercenary friend. Well, glory be, if it ain't the savior of all that's good in the wasteland. I suppose you're coming back here to ply me with good drinks and talk about your mission to Fort Dagger Point. This is a pro-time job. You want it done, we want cash. Ten thousand. More if you can swing it. This is NCR money we're talking about. They have plenty. But if you leave now, the Enclave and Mutants will kill everybody! How about this, Sweet Cheeks? I'll reduce the price to $8,000. Sweet Cheeks? Now we can all get what we want. Real patriot-like. I'll sit here and wait till you gather the funds. Sell your house if you have to. Silverman, I'm trying to hire mercenaries, but they're expensive. Here, take this. Maybe it'll help. $1,000. Make it count. Nice, now I have enough. Thank you. Here you go, $8,000. All right, we'll take it. Yep. Okay, see you there. Ranger Vargas, can I count on you at Fort Dagger Point? With any luck, we'll walk out of this one alive and retire someplace nice. And Captain Jameson, I'll see you there as well. Just make sure you come back. Don't get killed fighting for someone that won't back you up at the end of the day. Kiva, can I count on your support as well? 
私たちの人地によくぞ戻ってくれた。I'll take that as a yes. ようこそ。Hey, Doc Marius. So the NCR has finally gone and decided to end it all.、Hmm? What a wonderful world. Let's get down to business. You need a new set of armor, and I have just the thing. I modified my Colossus T36D armor to fit your unique physiology. It should provide you an advantage against the super mutants. I was hoping to recruit you, but yeah, I will take the armor, thank you. Yes, yes, whatever, shut up. I don't care about the material possession. It's useless to me now. But I want you to promise me something. I want to see the abomination of FEV wiped out forever. FEV is. More than a man made mistake. If you do no other good in your life, destroy it! Seems a bit hypocritical for the man who invented exploding corn, but yeah, I will make sure it's destroyed. You are a true scholar and a valued colleague. Go, take the Colossus, make these bastards pay! Alright, cool. General Silverman, I believe I've recruited everybody I can. This is going to be a legendary battle, one for the history books. Too bad only a handful of folk will ever hear about it. It is time to assault Fort Dagger Point with this rather sizable army I have. Take it.、Uh, <laughs> Doc Isaac! I wasn't expecting to see you here! Well, here I am. Come on, you、oh, apes! You want to live forever? Let's go! Uh, who is this now? Oh, it's General Silverman! You made it! Go! Get your guys into Fort Dagger Point! I don't care how you do it! Just move in! Go! Go! Oh, you even shaved your head for the occasion! Oh, hey, it's a bad thing. That was. <laughs> Just all these people following me. Uh, this is definitely the perfect ending. <laughs> There we are. Back at Fort Dagger Point. Oh boy. Um. I'm gonna be dead. Get around, you guys. Thank, thank you. I, I don't even have to do anything. I just let the army do the work. I'm delegating this task to my inferiors. Oh, level 16. Okay. Better criticals. Yeah, why not? That sounds good. Headshots do more damage. Oh, exploding everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Project Brazil, we meet again. Uh, hey everybody, I'm, I'm gonna need to squeeze past y'all. So, you finally come to face your fate in the Father's Den. Help me fight the Father, please! I will help you brush aside the Father's minions. God, you'd almost think this was a pacifist run the way I'm playing. Stop where you are, human. Don't come any. You should come with me, Mark. Together we can destroy the Enclave. You are right. And we avoid that fight as well. And Anai Oran is waiting for us in her mutated form. Oh, Lord. I, I can't even count how many people there are here. <laughs> And Jerry Oran, the bodyguard. Come on.、Oh, we gotta fight our way past the Enclave soldiers. Alright, l let's go. And. Chevy Bragg. Stop right there, Vault Dweller. Don't suppose there's any way I could convince you to lay down your arms? Let's get this over with. Well, can't say I didn't try. I'd stand back if I were you, everybody. Sir? Hit that Gatling gun. And finally. Oh, looky here, if it isn't the little upstart from Vault 18. What happened to freedom, Bragg? What choice did the vault dwellers have when you burn them alive? Freedom is all well and good until it gets overrun with mutants and unions with no moral fiber. When freedom and democracy are in enemy hands, all that's left is to fight for righteousness and apple pie. We're gonna get this country back in check. We'll wipe it clean and clear of aberrants, then get old glory waving above this nation again. For all your yapping about how much you love America, you're just a confused science experiment gone awry. I know exactly what I am. 
Good old American ingenuity is what's keeping me alive. You're not even a real person. You just think you are. Clone! Clone of a girl! You were talking to that Anaya Rand bitch, weren't you? She thinks she knows what I am, where I came from, but she has no idea what I've become. I'm a crusader against the weird. It's my one purpose in life, just like her daddy meant me to be. Was it a fun process when they reprogrammed your brain? I forgot everything that came before. Out of the fire, my soul was born anew. No more questions, no more fear. If I was ever anything else, this is all that I am now. It's all I'll ever be. They made you this monster, Bragg. They took your life, your identity. But you can take it back. And how the hell do you expect me to do that? We have to destroy the Enclave, together. You... you're right, I... I have to erase it. I have to erase them all. None of this should be this way. Get Chevy in position under the missile. I have no choice. This all has to end. The nightmare has to end. All right, we'll, we'll get her body and throw it under the burners. All right, let's bring her body over to the rocket before she regenerates. Ow, what the? Oh, yeah, the Enclave soldiers. Yeah, okay. Where was I? I think I can actually see them. Yeah. Chevy's body is down there, and so is Coach Bragg's. Guess he must have voluntarily thrown himself in. Or he tripped. And then we launch the rocket. Blow up the Enclave FEV site. Kiva and General Silverman. What a treat. What the hell happened down there, Agent? The moment we put down the last mutant, the Raiders turned on us. I didn't realize the Raiders would betray you. Well, regardless, all the mutants are gone for good. Are you going to order your raiders to kill me? We're at your mercy. No, you're free to go. Congress won't look well on this, kid. They'll order your execution. You have to realize that. If I can convince all these raiders to surrender to me, I can convince Congress to agree to a treaty. I sure as hell hope you're right. Otherwise, they're going to send my ass back here with artillery. Yeah, they can try. I'll head back to the hub and see to Congress's hearing on the matter. You just keep your raiders under control. I look forward to seeing you again, General. But at least for now, stay the hell out of my wasteland. Real damn pleasure doing business with you, kid. <laughs> I don't speak fucking Japanese! And there we go! The perfect run! Or at least as perfect as I could make happen. The war for California is over. While the embers of Fort Dagger Point still glow, the raider tribes reorganize beneath the new Shi warlord and her seemingly invincible right hand. Because Fort Dagger Point was destroyed by nuclear fire and the Enclave crippled across the American wastes, the Shi Alliance is forced to retreat from NCR territory. Oh, damn. Kiva leads her people towards Arizona in a perilous journey, finally coming to rest outside Flagstaff. Uh... There, what is left of the tribes, are assimilated into Caesar's Legion, Oops. who go on to conquer 80 tribes in their drive for domination. Oh, boy. The NCR soon faces the Shi's revenge as the Legion marches on Hoover Dam, a familiar warrior leading the charge. Uh-oh. As for you... The Legion makes a spectacle of your wild healing powers upon discovering your capabilities, but eventually decide to retire you before you become too powerful to control. Oh, goodness. You help settle your remaining survivalists in the town of Hopeville. I again? Not long after the town begins to prosper, the Fort Dagger Point key you kept with you all those years no. triggers the self-destruct on the town's arsenal of again. buried nuclear weapons. Can I even stop this from happening? Is Hopeville fated to explode? No, there's gotta be a better way. I'll do this again. Maybe siding with Els Dragon is secretly the best ending. We are raiders. We will take all we can carry and give nothing back. Fight for your freedom. Fight for your survival. 
Poor Lord Elsdragon is forced to surrender to the NCR's unrelenting force. <laughs> he is <laughs> driven from California overnight, followed by thousands of displaced raiders. Beautiful. What remains of the Raider Alliance flees to Arizona, where the battered people are forced to join Caesar's Legion. Great. After a series of betrayals, Elsdragon is crucified before their eyes, bringing his reign of terror to a somber end. The Fort Dagger Point key you kept with you all those years. Okay, I can see where this is going. On the Maybe Senator Duville has the best ending? It's a long shot, but I'll try it. <laughs> Senator Duville is driven from California overnight, followed by thousands of displaced raiders. Okay. The Fort Dagger Point key you kept with you all those years. Okay. The self the NCR is more willing to deal with this new face leading the Alliance, and over the course of a decade come to recognize the Xi as a powerful faction once again. Oh, I think I did it this the time! The Xi Alliance resettles in a town called Hopeville, under your leadership. Nope, nope. The Fort Dagger Point key you kept with Warlord Elsdragon holds a tight grip on his fading empire, even as his flesh rapidly slips from his body. How do I get this one? The infectious FEV stored in the walls of the fortress gradually corrupts his people. The Fort Dagger Point key you kept with you all. The war for California is over. The war for California has only just begun. Oh, oh, help me. I think I'm having a stroke. Triggers the self destruct. Triggers. 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 Why? Why can't I make this perfect? I've tried so hard and it fails every time. Why can't I stop this? Because. Nothing is perfect. Literally nothing is perfect. Hello, we've come back. Zach forgot his time machine. Yeah, I forgot my time machine. Where we, is that thing? We, we need that. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, is that a plasma Gatling gun? Oh, I'll take that too. You can't keep chasing perfection all the time. You, you never actually reach it, and then you just end up disappointed in everything that you ended up doing. Don't let perfect be the enemy of the good. I believe that's a quote from Voltaire. He was an eligible guy. No, you mean voltage. I do not mean that, no. I don't know who the fuck... Uh, no, you're saying voltage wrong, Mike. It's very wise. It's why when you meditate, you go, ohm. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that slightly makes... Ohm. Um, yeah, that makes more sense now. All right, I got it. Nothing's perfect, eh? Well, guess I'll keep living my life then. Especially because you took my rewind time machine, so now I'm stuck with this, so... No looking back, baby! And the moral of the story was, stop trying to fix the past. It's the past because it's already past. The moral of the story was, don't play mods made by a mod team of two people. I don't like this mod! Shocker.